Hello everybody, so today I will talk about the physics. Question number one, a steel rod 4 meters long and 0 0.5 square centimeters in cross section is found to stretch 0 0.2 centimeter under a tension of 12,000 newton. What is the young modulus of steel? So we have the formula. That's about stress and strain. In the strain, we have F divided to A. In the strain, we have delta L divided to L. In uh, this one, we have 12,000. And uh, in here we have zero, uh, zero point five square centimeter. Because this is centimeter, we need to convert to the meter. That's why we call about ten power minus four. The next one we have the zero point two. Multiply with 10 power minus 2 because we need to convert centimeter to the meter. Divide by 4. We just calculate this number. And this is about 4 by 10 multiplied with 10 power 11 newton square meter. Question number 2 is about elevator. The elastic limit of the steel elevator is 40,000 BSI by the maximum of wall acceleration which can be given a two tons elevator when supported by a cable whose cross section area is 0 0.5 square inch if the stretch is not as is not to exceed 1 over 4 of the elastic limit so in this one we need to find the tension The tension is about we have the gravitation and uh, the acceleration and we know that we have M is about the weight of the elevator and we have A and we have minus G because G is going upward and A is going up uh, G is going downward a is going upward that's why we have a minus g and the next formula we have the elastic limit equal to 1 over 4 it means that they want to find the stretch of this one so if we want to get the stretch we use about 1 over 4 multiplied with the elastic limit and we can get about the stretch in here so the stretch in this situation is about 40,000 multiplied 1 over 4 and you got about 10,000 later that we have the formula about the stretch in here is about F divided to A so we need to find the F in here and that's why we have 10,000 multiplied with the A 10,000 in here multiplied with 0 0.5 
and this is about 5000 but the force in this situation that you about the newton so we know that one c is a of one pound in this situation is about 444 newton so we have 5000 pounds in here and we use 5000 multiplied four by 44 is about 22,200 newton the next formula we need to do is about f equal to ma and uh, we know that we can change the f in about the tension we just do in here now the tension in this situation is about 22,200 we replace to the T M is about the 2 tons we move about 2 multiplied with 10 power 3 and this is the formula Oh, this is plus, sorry. Because the tension they held A and G together, that's why we had the minus. So we have T in here, it's about 22,200. Divide to 2 multiplied with 10 by 3 minus 9.8. So in here we got about the answer. And this is the final answer. That's it, the end. Thank you for watching.